The VI Water and Power Authority has refuted claims that it refused to appear before the Committee on Government Operations and Consumer Affairs for a scheduled hearing on Wednesday. Senator Carla Joseph and other senators who make up the committee subpoenaed WAPA officials after the authority, according to Ms. Joseph, failed to appear before them. I want to place on the record today because I'm highly annoyed. Uh, some of the efforts this committee has made on behalf of its constituency as well as members of the committee to bring the Water and Power Authority before us. On April 25th, we issued an invitation to have them appear before us uh, on our May 11th, 2022 meeting again. They said that they were unavailable to appear. Then on May 27th, we again issued an invitation to have the Water and Power Authority appear before this committee, which is the Committee of Jurisdiction. And it would have been appearing on June 16th. Again, they indicated that they were unable to appear. Now we have another invitation which was issued on August 26th and here we are September 14, 2022 and again we don't have the Water and Power Authority appearing. The committee was supposed to have received testimony on WAPA's operations, including but not limited to enabling law and jurisdiction, current agency challenges and a plan of action to resolve those challenges. Based on what you just read out there, I don't know why we need to write a next letter. My stance is we subpoena them. Because if we're going to continue sending these requests and they're not co cooperating with us, why are we sending the next request? I am ready to vote for a subpoena to bring them inside here. I think it's a no-brainer. I think we've wasted enough time constantly being nice and courteously asking for them to come before us. But at some point, we have to start acting like the representatives that the people elected. So I am in full support of subpoenaing them. Every time you have requested to meet and they still have not even responded. So with that being said, I do concur. We need to subpoena them and hold them accountable. However, in response to the legislature's subpoena, WAPA CEO and Executive Director Andrew Smith fired back, saying the utilities company had clearly communicated well in advance of Wednesday's, Wednesday's hearing that it would not be able to attend on those scheduled dates. A press statement issued following news of the order indicated that the WAPA's deferment request was to ensure it could present a comprehensive and accurate picture to committee members and fully answer their questions. Smith said the senator's office responded to WAPA's request and asked the agency to suggest favorable, favorable dates in October or November to hold the hearing. However, Senator Joseph rebutted by alleging WAPA did not provide those alternative date suggestions. And we did inquire based on their letter dates uh, that they would prefer us to have a meeting with them and hold a meeting here. Uh, they have not responded to our inquiry. We sent out those inquiries to get really firm dates because we want to work with people. Uh, we don't want to have any level of contention or trepidation from any of our testifiers. So we asked. Again, the silence is deafening from the Water and Power Authority. In its missive, the authority told the senator that it is currently in the process of receiving indications of interest from a number of local and international renewables developers and that once complete, it would then compare the competing proposals.